Hey guys, Parfax here, and today what we're doing is we're going to help you craft your BIS items. I've been asking for something like this for a while, and we finally got it. Now, honestly, I don't know when it came out. It could have been out, you know, forever ago, but I just discovered it pretty recently, and this is going to help you craft your BIS items. Now, it doesn't have absolutely everything that we need, so we're actually going to be partying with or also putting up a new world database so we can kind of get a look at the percentages. So what this website is, this is going to help you craft your BIS item. You can go to any item that you see on here. We'll go to let's do great axe and we can try to craft it and it'll have a calculation to see exactly how many times it should take you to get your item. That only goes to about a 62% chance. That's about as high as it's going to go. But you can see here the reason why some of these weapons are super expensive because it is super, super unlikely that you're going to get them. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this website, well, one of the things is it doesn't have every pattern on here as well. I would love to see them implement the patterns, but it's OK because we at least now have a couple things that we can kind of look at and kind of help you now. I basically, when I go to craft an item, I just go to New World Database and I look up the perk pools. We have perk, puck, perk buckets. And what I do is I look to see what's the highest one. So for instance, if I was trying to get uh, the BIS Great Axe, which would be Refreshing Move, Thwarting Strikes, and right now people are considering Chain to be the third perk. You can see here that the highest percentage we have here is Refreshing moves so that would just be the one that you leave off so let's go ahead and test that so let's go with a scarab so we can just target that one item so here we'll go chain arcane we don't really care what chain and we have thwarting so thwarting strikes now this third perk we are going to want refreshing move so we're going to go ahead and drag it up there with the golden scarab we're gonna go ahead and hit calculate. Now, I haven't tested this, so this could come up something different, but we'll see. So calculate, it should take on average to get this item 200 crafts, and at that, it is a 63% chance. Now, let's try it another way. So let's go ahead and we will put thwarting strikes over here. So we will put, remove that, remove that, and we'll go refreshing move. And thwarting strikes. So now let's calculate it. 295. So we've essentially made it to where we're going to need almost 100 more crafts to get our item. Now let's go ahead and do what most people do, which is refreshing move, thwarting strikes. Now that is what I uh, potentially would do because the chain arcane here is going to be, we don't care what chain it is, but let's just go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and remove that. And we'll do thwarting. And then chain. Now I wish it would allow me to do if I want this, this, or this, but we can't get it. So let's go ahead and calculate it. So 276. So as you can see here, you still would want to do the authority strikes refreshing move. Now it might look like this is bad, but because we really don't care what chain it is, it is gonna be out of every 200 and, what was it, 276, we actually have five chances at it. So this is definitely gonna be the way you wanna do your great axe. Now, if you're trying to do the old bis, which people consider to be refreshing move, thwarting strikes, and attunement, gets to be a little bit different. Now we're gonna to have to put attunement on our weapon here, so we're gonna remove this uh, refreshing move. We've already decided that that's the easiest perk to roll, even though it's not easy at all. So we'll go ahead in here and put attunement. We don't care which one. And then we want refreshing move. Refreshing move. We'll bring that right up there and calculate it. And we're at 200 attempts. So as you can see here, the reason why it's the same is just because it's going to, on average, take 200 attempts for you to hit your refreshing move. Now, if we go over here and look at our stuff, let's see, let's, what's fresh move under? It's under the proc. It is under the proc and it is the highest of the procs. So we're not gonna be able to get there. Now, let's say for some reason you want um, an ability. 
let's say you want just because we we can't really get the critical or the damage headshot here because we already have i guess we could get keen but who really cares about keen but let's see let's just for fun let's see what keen let's see if we wanted to roll keen let's see how many attempts it would take us on average so we'll go ahead and put it up here calculate in 24 attempts on average with a golden scarab to get keen and the reason for that is just because it is the highest perk on here you know tie, well second tied to vicious but we're already actually canceling out vicious because under the damage con perk which under that same perk we actually have thwarting strikes so we're actually canceling that out so the highest thing highest chance to roll is keen next is one of the abilities so let's do crippling reap because uh i actually do like me some crippling reap Crippling Reap, calculate 143. It goes down a little bit. So you can see here that, you know, we have a pretty good chance of crafting these. Now, you it's still gonna take you a ton of crafts, and this isn't guaranteed. You can see it's like a 60 some percent chance about every time we do it. But this is a great resource to help you out. So that's why you also wanna go over here to the database. Now, how you find this, I've seen a lot of people ask me this, but you just type in what you wanna do. So you see, I typed in Orichalcum, great. You know, so then it would be like great axe and then you just go so great axe of the soldier click it It's gonna bring up this you scroll down here and you go to perk buckets if You go to perk buckets. It'll bring up every single one. This is also how you do patterns um, I can't remember Do we got uh, I can't remember what any of the patterns are called we have floor reagent crown does it show me the actual item? No, I forget what it's called but you can also do this if you look up the actual item. Oh, we'll do uh, the boots or the Kraken. Remember those are called. So you have like Kraken Cap of the Soldier. We go here, uh, and this is the pattern from the Summer Medley Fair event. We go down here to Perk Buckets. You can see they're actually a little bit different. So whenever you look up a pattern, one of the new patterns, especially from like the winter event, you can come on here, search the item, don't search the pattern. So whatever item it creates, this item creates the colorful Kraken Cap of the whatever this name right here doesn't matter. But you can go down here and look, this is how we knew that when you look at this, there weren't, there wasn't resilient on it. So we crafted resilient on it and then it had a good chance, especially like the cracking legs to roll um, stir, or a shirking energy, which was at the time was absolutely best for light armor users. Um, so you can see here that it shows the other stuff as well. So it's really good. Uh, this stuff is uh, a great tool to use. You can go here and uh, well, just for fun, Let's go ahead and look at how to craft that without the golden scarab. So let's do the original. Um, we want chain. Well, let's do attunement because it's a little bit easier to calculate here. So attunement doesn't matter which one. And then we want refreshing move. And then we want boarding. All right. So we will do a normal and then we'll calculate to see if runestone stopwatch. Now, this would be a great way to uh, calculate exactly which way is going to be cheaper. And as you see here, it's going to, on average, take 6,557. And in order to get this weapon specifically, this is the only way to craft it. And then if we want to do a runestone stopwatch, it cuts it down almost in half or right around half here uh, to get us a 3,278 attempts. But it is absolutely better to go ahead if you're looking for a specific to craft with the golden scarabs because it's going to probably throw it off yeah because we didn't actually add the perk with the charm here so we just took it off and add a refreshing move calculate it again then we're back down to 295 so you can see here that it is a great tool to use you can you know you see how good golden scarabs are and if you are looking to craft any bis item make sure you go to a turn of craft and then new world database to kind of help you you know, streamline the process. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like always, I hope you enjoyed this video. We have some really cool videos coming up. I haven't put out a bunch of videos lately, but there hasn't been a ton of information out there new. We're kind of in a nice little lull, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. We should have at least one more video before Christmas. Uh, hopefully, we get it out in time. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, like always, and I'll see you next time. Peace.